Your vision will dictate the course of your life. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. And we're gonna do a cool little short vlog for you, all right? We're talking vision and why having vision will dictate the course of your life, all right? So let's go back in time a little bit. A lot of you guys know my story. I grew up in the Hawaiian Islands having to fight all the time. In the beginning, I used to just get beaten down and mobbed by multiple guys. And it was just a hard life, right? But one day I started training and I started hitting the bag and, and a neighbor started training me to actually learn how to fight so I could protect myself. And trust me, I'm not here to talk about that and lift those days up. But what I will talk about is as I actually fought and as I got into boxing, I started watching all the old films of Muhammad Ali and, and all the old boxers and, and that's when Tyson was coming up and I started watching Tyson and truly trying to emulate these guys. I saw these guys as my heroes and people that I wanted to be like. You know, I looked at their struggles and thought, you know what, if they can make it, I can make it because I'm willing to put the work in. At a young age of 17 years old, I started telling everybody one day, I'm gonna be heavyweight champion of the world. But guess what? It's pretty much impossible because I'm in Maui, right? I don't have money for plane tickets to, to come over. I don't have the right training. We're just putting up heavy bags in the garage and, and putting gloves on and we're sparring and we're just going after it, a bunch of kids and stuff. People from the outside would actually look into it and see this kid barely has a place to live. He doesn't have enough food on his table. He has no money, he has no future. How's this kid gonna actually make it? But I didn't let that into me. I kept watching the videos, I kept training hard. I woke up at five in the morning. I drove up the volcano to run at elevation. I put the work in and I convinced myself I could be champion. I kept speaking it, I kept speaking it, and then guess what? A fighter from the same stable as George Foreman that fought under Dick Sadler, who was George Foreman's trainer, decided to retire in Maui. And when he retired in Maui, he started hearing the stories of this boxer They would end up fighting not only huge guys, but like six guys at a time. And he was like, who is this kid? And then one day he met me and I told him, I'm gonna be the heavyweight champion of the world. Guess what happened? He made some calls. He got me an audition. They flew me out to California from Hawaii. They put me with professional fighters where I dominated and it ended up changing my course of life. I go all the way up to top rank boxing with the best trainers in the world saying, this kid is gonna be the heavyweight champion of the world. Oh, I used to hang out with Tyson and De La Hoya. I knew all the big guys. My life was on this journey and then it all fell apart, right? You guys know my testimony, but I'm not gonna get into that. But think about that. I set a vision that was impossible. When I started, I was way down here. But as I spoke it and trained and set the goals and went up each one of the stairs on the course to achieving that vision, my starting point became farther away and the vision became more of a reality and it changed my life. Today, I'm not that fighter, right? I don't have gloves, I'm not hitting people. But everything I learned along the way, I use today. Now my vision is even bigger. It's not just fighting for myself, it's fighting for the trade, it's fighting for the next generation, it's fighting for you guys. It's bringing forth not only CNC education, but aerospace education and saying that we are worthy to step up on this level to teach experts how to do incredible things. Many people can look from the side and say, you know what, this guy has dreams and he has vision and that's awesome, but he doesn't have the resources, he doesn't have the money, he's not big enough, he doesn't have enough employees, how would he ever achieve those things? Well, they're basing their opinions based on what they can comprehend and what they've seen. They don't understand the work ethic and they don't truly understand the vision, right? Because it's my vision. They don't understand the talent that's in the team that we're developing, right? 
but I do. And the more that we walk up the stairs to that vision, the clearer we actually see it. Now it's not an impossible thing. It's something that's going to happen. And we're here looking at it here instead of being way back at that starting point. So that's my vision. And because it's bigger than the world that I reside in, it commands respect. It commands a priority in my life. So when the world comes calling and all the distractions come, the vision's big and it's worthy. And therefore I push the distractions aside so I can keep my eyes on the prize. And because I have such belief in it, my entire life starts revolving around it and all the goals that I set and everything that I do are for one purpose, achieving this vision. So I'd ask you, is your vision big enough? Is it big enough to command your respect? Does it have a priority in your life? Let's make sure that we're talking and speaking to it and setting the right goals in place and following through with the right determination and work ethic to actually achieve those goals so you can get closer to that vision. Your vision will dictate the course of your life, so have an amazing vision because you were created with gifts and those gifts will be perfectly aligned with the vision that you have. And when that alignment comes, you will have a peace about that vision and you will know no matter what that you can achieve it. So go get it. Uh. All right. So to end this, I just want to say a lot of great machinists out there, a lot of owners, a lot of programmers, a lot of business people. I'd love to hear you in the comments. Tell everybody about your visions and how you accomplish amazing things and give some words of wisdom to the young guys coming up. Boom, manufacturing, one big family, helping each other. Hey, before I sign off, I just wanna say one thing. If you love the leadership, if you love the tutorials, if you love the machining and the entertainment, please hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and put those comments just like I just asked for it down below. And if you love this video, hit the like button. You guys have a great day. Boom, I am out.